We have an excellent faculty here. And um, I'm going to start out the talk about um, using Titan implant for um, how can we use the properties of Titan implant to reduce infections, um, infection rate of penile implant surgery. Now, most of the infection that occurs in penile implant is either from airborne bacteria at the time of surgery contaminating the penile implant. Those, those bugs may come from patient skin or urethra. The skin is a very complex structure. It has um, sweat glands, sebaceous glands, hair follicles. And even though we, we clean the skin with betadine, it is almost impossible to clean the sweat glands and sebaceous glands, and the, and the bacteria can keep coming out of those glands. So during the surgery and, and contaminate the penile implant, so we tend to scrub the skin for about 15 minutes before we start the surgery. Uh, the distal urethra also has a lot of bacteria in them, and we, we try to clean this off by, by irrigating the urethra with 5% uh, betadine solution just prior to surgery. In 1998, we conducted a study in rats. We took silicone strips and coated it with different antibiotics, vancomycin, amikacin, rifampin, minocycline, even we used betadine. And we implanted those strips in the back of the rat. And then we contaminated the wound with Staph aureus, with a non -con known concentration of Staph aureus. And a week later, we went back, we removed those strips, and found out how many, which antibiotic was most effective in eradicating the infection. And we found that rifampin minocycline had a 0% infection rate. So that was in 1998, and two years later, American Medical System came out with a penile implant coated with rifampin minocycline, and it was called inhibizone coating. Around the same time, a few months later, Coloplast introduced Titan coating. Now, Titan coating is a PVP coating. And when it, when it comes in contact with water, the surface of the implant becomes hydrophilic. And when the surface of an implant is hydrophilic, the bacteria don't attach to the surface of the implant very readily. This coating is also like a sponge, and it absorbs water 30 times its weight. And we can make use of this property to deliver antibiotic onto the surface of the implant to provide bactericidal effect. So the PVP coating or Titan coating in itself is not bactericidal, but we can make it bactericidal by using antibiotics to, you, to coat that implant. Now, this was a study we did to study the attachment of the bacteria on the surface of plain bioflex versus PVP-coated bioflex, and we could show that there is a 30 to 40 percent reduction in the number of bacteria getting adherent to the surface of PVP-coated bioflex implant. Then we repeated the same study that we had done for, for silicone strips by impl implanting in the back of the rat, and we could show that when PVP-coated bioflex studies, uh, bio, bioflex strips were dipped into vancomycin, gentamicin solution, the number of bacteria surviving was much less than the controls or uh, PVP uh, than controls. So this shows that um, we can use bioflex material to soak to get the antibiotic onto the surface of the implant. Now, going back to the original <coughs> experiment in 1998, 
we showed rifampin in monocycline is the most effective antibiotic, we decided to start a study by coating the Titan implant with rifampin minocycline instead of vancomycin gentamicin. Now, instead of minocycline, I decided to replace minocycline with gentamicin to get a better gram-negative coverage. So the way we go about doing this procedure is um, we scrub the patient's skin uh, for 15 minutes, then we drape and wrap a f uh, four by four on the, on the penis, and then put iron plastic film, which adheres to the skin, so that no part of the implant ever comes in the contact with the skin of the patient to avoid the contamination. Then we make a little slit in the plastic film and remove the penis from there and wrap it again with four by four. And then we proceed with the surgery. As soon as we remove the implant from the pack, from the sterile pack, we coat it with what we call it R10G1 solution. That is rifampin 10 milligrams per ml and gentamicin one milligram per ml and as you can see, because of the titan coating, the whole antibiotic gets uniformly dispersed over the surface of the implant. In one of the studies which was done by Dr. Hellstrom, he showed that these antibiotics remained on the surface for about three days after the implant goes into the body. <coughs> And this is the cylinder again, coated with R10 G1. We performed a comparative zone of inhibition studies to compare inhibizone and Titan coated with R10 G1. And we could show that the zone of inhibition is about 30% higher for R10 G1 Titan than inhibizone. And the same and we also did the study for E. coli and again we could show a significant improvement in the uh, zone of inhibition for E. coli. And this is the zone of inhibition for uh, Titan on the left side and inhibizone on the right side. So, titan coating in itself prevents the attachment of the bacteria on the surface of the implant. Choosing proper antibiotic to coat that titan implant, and in this case, rifampin gentamicin, gives you additional bactericidal effect. This coating does not affect the implant in itself in any way. We avoid the contamination of the implant uh, by, by using the Ioban's plastic film, and we clean up the urethra, and with this method, we have done about 150 implants consecutively without any infection. And that is the end of my presentation.